Okay, hi everybody, this is the Math 31 Limits Review. Uh, we're working through question uh, 1J. I'm just going to take the limit of this. Now if I plug 0 into this, it's 8 plus 0 is 8, squared is 64, minus 64 is 0, all over 0. Okay, so this is 0 over 0, so this, this means I need, I have the indeterminate form, I've got to do some work here. So I'm going to leave the limit in there, x approaches 0. Okay, now there are at least a couple of different ways to approach this problem, uh, but I suspect a lot of you, when you see that x plus, sorry, 8 plus x there squared, a lot of you are going to be tempted to expand that out. So let's, let's do that. 8 plus x all squared is going to end up being 64 plus 16x plus x squared minus 64, and this is all over x. Now, if you are wondering where that 16x comes from, then perhaps this is not the method to be doing. You should not be expanding that out because if you're not sure where the 16x is coming from, you would be doing this wrong, okay? You need to make sure that you distribute these out here. The, the square does not distribute to the 8 and the x. You need to distribute the multiplication 8 plus x by 8 plus x. So now this is the limit as x approaches 0 of, well the 64's are going to cancel and so you're left with 16x plus x squared all over x. Uh, in the numerator, there is a common factor of x that I can take out, so that'll be x times 16 plus x all over x, which is great because I can actually cancel those x's. Now that's, that's true, so that's the limit as x approaches 0 of 16 plus x. I can do that so long as I state that x is not allowed to equal 0. Uh, but once again, that's, that's not an issue here because I'm only finding the limit as x approaches 0. I don't actually figure out what it is when it, I don't actually get to 0. But to evaluate the limit, I will plug in the 0 and 16 plus 0 is just 16. And so that's the limit that I'm looking for.